All righty, I have a really cool construction update for you guys today. So a lot changes in a day now. You're gonna see that even in a day. So before you look, this was filmed at around 11 a.m. And then you're gonna see the area change even more after that. So I'm starting to speculate that a lot of these buildings are gonna come down um, and the whole area might just be getting gutted and refreshed, but um, we'll have to see how that plays out because we are really close um, to Canada's Wonderland opening. Like we're about a month and a half away, technically. April 20th is their first operational day. Um, now that doesn't mean for a regular guest, that just means for bank days and such. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see what happens and how this all plays out. Um, because I'm, I'm assuming that these are going to be have to be prefabricated pre buildings that they're going to have to bring in. <clears throat> now, with that being said, over in the tunnel, um, it is starting to definitely take formation. So it is 100% starting to look like it's going to be some sort of ramp. Um, the only confusing part I have left is the walls. So for those of you that don't understand construction, essentially rebar um, is used to strengthen concrete or cement. And what you see before you is they poured the foundation to a structure and there's still rebar sticking up. What that suggests, if they don't grind that away, is that there's gonna be even more structure built on top. Now for that to be utilized as a ramp to get track inside, um, again, they carry track horizontally. Um, so a track piece can take up a very large section when it's being carried horizontally into something. Um, they need a lot of that space. Now, if they build walls vertically, they're taking away from that space that I would have assumed would have been utilized to carry the track pieces in horizontally. If they do build walls, we're looking at a tunnel um, about the same size as the maintenance tunnel or presumed maintenance tunnel over on Wonder Mountain Guardian side. So that definitely confuses things. Um, but we'll talk about that more. Over at Front Gate, again, a lot of work going on. There was a little theming garden piece um, built on the right side of the parking lot there that you just saw. And brickwork continues and adding in the final touches. They're also adding in um, the security posts already. Um, this is another angle of the construction or deconstruction <laughs> um, over in Elpen. Um, I'll keep getting questions. Are you sure it's Elpen? Yes. If you go um, on Google, it was literally called Elpen, A-L-P-E-N. Um, so it, it's Elpen. It's themed to like an old German, I guess, ski village. Uh, Backlot still showing signs of some sort of uh, refurbishment. Again, with that, my assumption, not my knowing, is that this might be the VIP area or they've completely refurbished the restaurant and there'll be a whole new menu. There are signs of that as well. Um, again, Wonderland's been teasing a whole new burger menu, so maybe this will be that place. Um, also over at the tunnel, they are almost done. They are about three quarters done um, reinforcing this tunnel. So I'm really excited to see what happens afterwards because that will be a telltale sign um, to what's going to happen and what tunnel is going to be used or if both are going to be used. Again, we do need to see a third tunnel. Um, so at around 4 p.m. flight time, uh, this building was almost completely demolished. You can see remnants of Thunder Run's old station. So that was really cool. Um, and the old Coke refresh station is getting demolished as well. Um, so I'm really curious to see uh, what is going to end up in this area because this is a very last demolition project. Um, it was teased or I, it was kind of hinted that if we see anything getting removed, that these are last minute budget changes. Um, so it'll be, I'm, I'm really curious as to what that could mean and what that transpires. Um, again, like I've never been more lost with a construction project than this one, because we have two different routes, um, of demolition and, uh, work going on. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens. Um, outside of that, um, I definitely am forecasting more buildings to come down, not necessarily all. Um, but yeah, over here is a better example of the rebar cages, or not the rebar cages, the rebar sticking out of the foundation, keyword foundation. So it'll be interesting to see what type of wall formation takes place, if any. They could grind these away again. Um, Wonderland is being very secretive about what's in the tunnel. They've set up a double wall barricade. Um, to pre prevent anyone from getting super close to here and looking inside the tunnel. So that is definitely really curious, as you can see on the screen there. 
Um, this new Zoom is insane. Uh, but yeah, Tiny Tom's sign has been removed and the building is also showing signs of its electrical being removed. So that building also could be coming down, which is, again, crazy that Tiny Tom's might be getting dismantled. Um, I'm really curious to see if that's going to end up coming back um, or if uh, if it's gone for good. Again, Wonderland has been slowly removing uh, franchises and corporate uh, venues and just building their own. Here's that better shot of the old Thunder Run um, station. Again, the whole building wasn't the Thunder Run, but uh, the roof was and part of the structure was, and it was just redesigned, similar to some of the buildings actually in front, which were utilized as the queue line for Thunder Run as well. So just fun food for thought. Um, Outside of that, not too much going on. Leviathan is almost entirely on its track. I believe Behemoth is entirely on its track. Um, and um, a lot of the kids' rides have already started testing. And not anything exciting, but, you know, the helicopters, antique cars, all those kinds of rides. They've already tested and they're ready to go. Um, and, yeah, I, I'm really curious to see if anything's happened with Thunder Run because there was um, the really, not even rumor, but the, the, the statement that they were going to upgrade the um, the effects in Thunder Run. <clears throat> Over here, this is really exciting. Um, electrical and speakers and water have all been tampered with in International Showplace. So it looks like every single speaker, water, sprinkler, um, electrical thing that's in International Showplace has started to get removed. Again, a telltale sign of what's about to come. What we're going to want to look for is the events page when Wonderland announces it and see if there's any events in that tent this year because that'll be a telltale sign. Um, here is some crazy long rebar on a flatbed. Um, I wanted to show you guys this as it could either be for a really deep footing or uh, a floor piece or a major wall piece at my best guess. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's construction update. Um, thank you so much for watching. Today was a big one. Um, have a great one, guys. Bye.